populations of indigenous peoples. Over several months, local indigenous and newcomer artists worked with high school students across Regina to create art that reflects the missing voices of Confederation. Their colorful representations include indigenous peoples, women, the, envi the environment, such as water. In this way, our youth are leaving a legacy in their artwork. Thank you to artists Jory Kishane and Bruno Hernani for working with our students and helping to bring Confederation Park back to life. And beside their artwork, you'll see interpretive text panels that tell our complex story of Confederation in the three founding language, languages of Regina, in English, in Cree, and in French. Other artwork you'll see on the panels captures indigenous designs. For example, designs reflecting beading, beading work done historically by indigenous women of the plains. Another local Indigenous artist worked with the Royal Saskatchewan Museum to create this art, and this took over a year to complete. Thank you, Larissa Cachamonia, for your dedication to remembering the past. And of course, thank you to the City of Regina staff who worked on Confederation Park for sharing a vision to make the renewal of the park not only about restoring the park's heritage, but also about bringing our complex story of Confederation to life through both art and history, and through collaborations with many people in our community. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Enjoy your new, renewed Confederation Park. Thank you. Thanks, Kim. So we have a few more ceremonial activities to celebrate this great day. Uh, in a moment, members of City Council will join Mayor Fougere for the ceremonial ribbon cutting ceremony at the archway. So if I could ask the Mayor and Council uh, just to start to make their way over to the archway. So this will signify the official reopening 